Hi, I'm Sridhar and I'm doing this video on uh, addition of vectors, right? And we'll be looking at the analytical method of addition of vectors. So let us say we have two vectors, vector A and we have another vector B and I want to find out the resultant of this vector. So vector, I want to find out resultant R of this vector which is A plus B, right? So I'll take two uh, random vectors, right? Let us say I have let us say I have two vectors. Let, let me first draw vector A. Let us say this is vector A. Right? And let us say this is vector B. Again, I am taking any random direction and random magnitude. Let us say this is vector B. Right? And I want to add these two vectors, right? Now, by the graphical method, we know that if I complete this triangle, I will get the resultant of these two vectors. So if I join these two, if I join these two points, I get the resultant of vector A and vector B. So this is vector R, which is the resultant of vector A. This is vector A, and this particular is vector B. So this is vector B. Okay. I want to find out the direction and magnitude of resultant of the resultant, right? Uh, let us say the angle between the two vectors a and b is theta right let us say this is theta now i know three things i know vector a meaning i know vector c magnitude of vector a and the direction of vector a i also know vector b that means i know the magnitude of vector b and its direction and i know theta which is the angle between vector a and vector b and i want to find out R. Right. Let us begin by completing this triangle right here. So let me draw a perpendicular from here. Right. Let us say this. I'll draw a perpendicular over here such that this angle is 90 degree. Okay. I'll call this point as point O. Let us call this particular point as point P. This particular point as Q and I will not call it R because I already have R over here and let me call this uh, point P, right? And I will show vector B. This is vector B. Let me remove this from here, right? So this is vector B. This is point P and T and this is theta. Okay. Now, <coughs> I'll use a little bit of geometry and trigonometry over here. I want to find out OT. I want to find out vector R. So OT square, right? If I look at triangle OTQ, right, then OT square is equal to OQ square plus QT square. Right? And this will give me OQ square. OQ square is equal to OP plus PQ. O square plus QT square, right? OQ square. OQ is this. So OQ is OP plus PQ. So OQ square will be OP plus PQ whole square and qt square is qt square okay now let me go back to triangle p p q p t q in that this is theta this angle is theta so what will be sine theta sine theta will be equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse that will be equal to qt upon pt therefore qt is equal to pt sine theta right what is PT? PT is this and that is the magnitude of vector P. So this will be B sin theta. So QT is B sin theta. Okay. What happens if I take cos theta in this particular triangle? In triangle PTQ. Cos theta will be adjacent side. That is PQ upon PT. Therefore PQ is equal to PT cos theta. Therefore PQ is equal to P cos theta. Right? I am putting them in a block because I am going to use them later in this equation. <coughs> okay, so if I expand this, I will get OP square plus PQ square plus 2 OP PQ plus QT square. Okay, is equal to, I will write this as OP square plus PQ square plus 
qt square plus 2 op pq okay now pq square plus qt square pq square plus qt square in this triangle p t q p t square is equal to q t square plus p q square so p q square plus q t square i can represent by or i can replace by p t square so i'll get o p square plus p t square plus 2 o p p q is equal to o p o p is the magnitude of vector a so i can write down a square p t square p t is the magnitude of vector b so i'll write down b square plus 2 o p o p is vector a p q what is p q p q i know i have got over here is b cos theta so i'll write down b cos theta right and what is o t square o t is this resultant r so i'll get r square and this is the equation i get right for the magnitude of the resultant r square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 ab cos theta and <clears throat> and let me confirm this once again we have found out the magnitude of vector r in terms of three things that we know a b and theta so in this equation you see a b and theta right so this is how we will be able to find out the magnitude of the resultant let us uh, shift our attention to direction of the resultant right now to find out the direction of the resultant i should know some angle let us say i want to find out angle alpha i'll call this angle alpha the angle which the resultant makes with vector a right so if i know alpha i will be able to find out the direction of r because i know the direction of a right so the direction of a and if i add angle alpha to that i get the direction of r so i want to find out alpha okay let us focus once again our attention on triangle o p q o p q right so in this triangle tan alpha is equal to opposite side that is qt upon adjacent upon the adjacent side that is o q this will give me qt right upon o q can be o q can be represented by op plus pq op plus pq is equal to now what is qt i have found out over here qt qt is b sin theta so i'll get over here b sin theta op is vector a so magnitude of vector a plus pq pq is b cos theta pq is b cos theta thus i get the equation tan alpha is equal to b sin theta upon a plus b cos theta and this is what i am looking for i know magnitude of vector b i know theta i know magnitude of vector a so i know this quantity i will be able to find out this quantity and if i do tan inverse of that quantity i will be able to get alpha and thus i'll be able to get the direction of vector r <coughs> okay so what i have done is we have this one formula which gives us the magnitude of r this formula gives us the direction of r and thus i know r completely in terms of the two vectors and the direction or the angle between them right this is how we are able to add vectors in analytical method right so you simply use these two formulas and you will be able to find out the resultant right thank you